the internet going the plague mask here and today i have this so what exactly is this this is uh another center related thing this is um explosives and detonators if you watch the movie rogue one uh which is a great movie go watch it right now if you haven't seen it uh when they're all running around on the landing pad they play they uh place little explosives that look kind of look like this again this is a mock this is not from that movie but they place little explosives and then they use a detonator the irish guy uh in the star wars galaxy uh basically presses a button and a bunch of stuff blows up that's basically what happens so i'm going to start off with the take this out of the way start off with the little bombs these are just, these are each just like two pieces it's a four but it's a uh, four by four dish plate on top of a four by four round plate one of them is uh, Darth Vader from a Darth Vader TIE fighter set uh, that I don't have put together which is why it's in my hand and this is that's it they all you can fit the palm of your hand you can carry these around you can the way these work in the Senate is you place them down, then you turn them, and then they're armed, and they stick on. And there's a in the Senate they stick on the surfaces. But as you can see here, as you can see here, my Lego versions uh, were not able to capture that functionality. Maybe one day. Now moving on to the uh, detonator. Now, this is a very simple, but it's a pretty simple build. Um, it gets really complicated on the inside. Uh, right here we've got some grills, some stuff. This button, uh, I'll get to that. This little thing on the side, this moves up and down. There's, uh, there's like an antenna. Overall, just pretty simple. But uh, I wanted to be able to, to actually press the button, and as you can see, it's not able to press down. What happens is you have to arm the detonator as well. So what you do is you, this gets kind of difficult because you are kind of flexing parts here, but uh, you are, you're going to, as if you, like this part, this uh, piece, you can see that is, it does flex. So what happens is you pull, I don't know how I got, I'm trying to help, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. You pull it, back past the black piece and you pull it all the way back now you take this bright red knob and pull it all the way back now you take this red piece and fold it back now that, that is no longer blocking you from doing this And I could do this, I could do this all day. Like, this is really satisfying. And, um, I will show you the mechanism, uh, right now, actually. So, in order to get this thing apart, uh, first I'm going to take off the upper layer of plates. So, take that off. Um, it's these are a bunch of, and now we can take out, and now this whole section goes down, and we have the, I'm going to put this, I'm actually going to put these back on. Basically, you lift this entire, this is just, the, this is essentially just a casing. This is the actual mechanism, and as you can see, we have this uh, cam. This is just kind of this uh, cam is just kind of sitting here, and it's held taut with this rubber band that loops around a Technic axle here. Um, and this blue, green piece is preventing it from snapping uh, into a position like uh, that. And there's another. There's another green. The other green piece got stuck at the bottom. So with, with the tension, sorry, with the tension provided by that, 
the button. Uh, sometimes it gets caught. It uh, works very well, and I'm just gonna put this back together. A moment. That's basically it for the detonator and the um, I'm grabbing. That's basically it for the detonator and the explosive. As always, uh, this has been Guy in a Plague Mask signing out.